Yeah, Michael, good evening. Yeah, really, it does. Okay, so this is the focus here. This is Field Street just outside Floor Field. Essentially, what's going to happen here, if you know of Jersey Street by Fenway Park, that would essentially be what we're looking at here, complemented with some new development independently just across the street. The gates at Floor Field have been closed for some time. Sky 4 with an exclusive look around the area today. These renderings painting a bright post-pandemic future. Field Street next to Floor Field transformed into a vibrant entertainment area. It's kind of an inspiration of uh, Fenway Park and what they've accomplished there with Jersey Street in terms of the fan experience really starts before you even walk into the ballpark. And really that's what we're trying to accomplish here. They're hoping not alone on the table. More than two and a half million dollar investment from the city generated mostly from tax revenue in the West End. The West End is what it is in many ways because of the anchor and the foot traffic, the restaurants, the retail, all that came with the people that, that followed the ballpark. The city would pay for infrastructure, including the first public bathrooms in the West End and 50 new parking spaces. The idea is what can we do to make this pedestrian friendly, to continue to bring in people uh, on game day and uh, for other activities and events, frankly. Optimism for businesses like Viva Via Mexican Grill, which opened one block away at the end of December. Maybe more people in downtown Greenville and Greenville in general who doesn't know about us get to know about our authentic food. We've prided ourselves on 15 years of having a great experience for our fans in the community and now it's just finding new and innovative ways to enhance that. Yeah, some excitement here from the Greenville Drive on this move and as we come back some people wondering about when this is all going to be finished. We are told spring of 2022. For now in Greenville, Taggart Houck, WYFF News 4.